Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio Buck Show. As always, this is your host, Arsenio, bringing to you the Quotient Analysis Part C. Guys, here are the last questions that I will be going over for you guys. And after that, you're going to have a very, very firm grasp on what's going on inside of that head of yours. Guys, this is very important. If this is the first time you're listening to this, please tune into the blog and go to Quotient Analysis A and B. Today is part C, and then we are topping off the entire book on Friday. It's going to be a sad day because, again, it's going to be the end. And, I mean, it's going to be the end of this book, but it's going to be the beginning of you. See, that's what you have to realize, guys, that when you go through this life and everything that you've, of course, accomplished and everything that you believe, it could be undone. If these beliefs, these false belief systems are in place, you can get rid of them right now. But because, of course, now you have the self-awareness. So, guys, my question to you is, are you? Are you going to get rid of all these preconceived notions that you've ever had about yourself and everything that's going on in your head in, ter- in terms of having a negative mental attitude? It's time. So here we go. Number 13, learning from defeat. Does defeat cause you to stop trying? If you fail in a given effort, do you keep trying? Is temporary defeat the same as failure to you? Have you learned any lessons from defeat? Do you know how defeat can be converted into an asset that will lead to success? See, oh man, I, got, I could go through all the stories, but you guys already know them. See, defeat is everything in the world. Defeat is what we need. It's the growing process, right? Life is binary. You have to accept both the failures and the defeats. They're both, they both come with progress. They both come with learning experience, like Jim Quick has said. You have to understand that defeat and failure is a part of life, but it's not. And I mean, it is not permanent. Do you have that creative vision? Do you use your imagination constructively? And I'm talking about this, guys. I've never had these thoughts before. Why? Because I didn't train my mind. My mind was just literally just sitting there, okay? But then... When I started surrounding myself with greatness and great people and, you know, and, and, you know, connecting with other social entrepreneurs and, you know, solopreneurs and people over here and people doing these things and those things, I said, oh, my God, I think this is going to be very, very good for me. And then every morning I wake up, I get these ideas. And I'm not talking about crazy ideas. I'm talking about ideas to act on. See, guys, I'm telling you, when it comes to, uh, you, you know, to... Put it on, you know, the create the creative side of your mind. You can do it. But you need to put your head into books or you need to put your head into podcasts or things that will help you guys. I was just listening to Pat Flynn yesterday. He was giving an interview or, yeah, he was doing an interview with this lady with Evergreen. Evergreen is a funnel. I didn't know what a funnel was. So I said, okay, let me check this out. Within the matter of 25 minutes, I had five great ideas just like that. See, when you listen to great people... You end up getting great information. And then when you act on that great information, it can reap ridiculous rewards. Do you make your own decisions? Is the man who only follows instructions always worth more than the man who always or also creates new ideas? Are you inventive? Do you create practical ideas in connection with your work? When desirable, do you seek sound advice? That's got to be one of the most important parts. Let me give you an example. When it comes to pricing and course prices and stuff like that, I always know who to go to. Her name is Selena. Selena, of course, being an entrepreneur out there in Denver, Colorado. When I need advice in terms of doing this and doing that and doing this, I always go to my content writer. Am I going to ask my mom? No. Am I going to ask my friend in New York? Hell no. Am I going to ask my, my dentist friend that's graduated from Harvard? No. Why? Because they don't know anything about that. Is that their area of expertise? No. With all due respect to my folks. You see what I mean? So understand that. Do you save, and you know what, budgeting your time and money. We're going to talk about this a lot in terms of the habit of saving more. The, uh, and you know what, I actually just came up with that podcast too. Okay, so I got a couple of podcasts coming out, so stay tuned for that. But do you save a fixed percentage of your income? Do you spend money without regard to your future source of income? Do you get sufficient sleep each night Is it your habit to employ spare time studying self-improvement books? Yes, yes, and yes. Guys, yesterday, let me give you an example. 
As a matter of fact, two days ago, it was a very, very interesting two days. Let's just put it that way. And the best part about this was I actually went to a place that I hadn't worked in about two years, right? And uh, I'm supposed to teach this French businesswoman, right? So the French businesswoman didn't come at 9, 9 30, 10, 10 30. But you know what? Let's just put it into perspective. What can Arsenio do between 9 and 10 30? See, a lot of people would be like, oh my God, I'm wasting my time. What are you talking about? That's the most precious time I need because there's nothing else I can do but work. So what did I do? Boom. Banged out about 20 to 30 minutes of my ebook. Okay, boom. Fixed up about, I think, four to five blogs. Okay, do this. Boom. Send all those messages. Okay, boom. Send some voice messages. Within that hour and a half, oh my God, it was magnificent. See, guys, I dive into the things that I need to do. Now, of course, self-improvement books and whatnot. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go purchase my Stephen Covey book, The Eighth Habit, which is going to be my next uh, book. Because you guys requested it. So my next book starting next Monday is going to be Stephen Covey's Eighth Habit. Or it could be something different, depending. But yes, because I think Stephen Covey provides so much information that relates to so many different people out there. Especially across Asia and specifically in India. But anyways, guys. Spare time. Spare time is the best. You know what? I love being on a plane. I love being on a plane, especially between three to six hours. You know why? Oh my God, when I flew to Hong Kong in those three hours, yeah, I watched a little bit of Avengers and a little bit of, you know, the, the, that movie Rampage and stuff like that, but I banged out so many messages. So on my Facebook, and of course I'm able to charge my phone on the plane, so in this spare time, this free time, some people are like, oh, I don't know what to do, I'm just going to watch movies. What are you talking about? When I'm on a plane, I'm excommunicated from everyone, so what do I do? I go on Facebook, I write all those messages down. I'm replying to everything on every message platform, period. So when I actually land, boom, I send everything. Boom, emails are sent out. Boom, blogs are already finished. I wrote out all my blogs, so all I have to do is just put my voice into them. You see what I mean? What do you guys do on your spare time? All right? Now, number 16, maintenance of sound health. Do you know five five essential factors of sound health? Do you know where sound health begins? Are you aware of the relation and relaxation to sound health? Do you know the four important factors necessary for the proper balancing of sound health? Do you know the meaning of hypochondria and, of course, psychosomatic illness? Hey, hey, that's for you to do your information. You need to go do some research on that. I'm going to give that to you. Now, in the last one, here we go. Using... Cosmic habit force as it pertains to your personal habits. Do you have habits which you feel you cannot control? Have you recently eliminated undesirable habits? Have you recently developed any new desirable habits? Critical, very, very critical for just about all of you out there. So here's the rating system. You know what? I'm not even going to tell you the rating system because you won't understand a goddamn thing. What you need to do, you need to go on my blog at thearsiniobuckshow.com. Click in the description, the link in the description. You'll be able to find that. Because the rating system is very, very complex. But you know what? This rating system, out of all those things that you've answered, let's just put it this way. Total number of wrong answers, 20. Perfect score, 300. Minus total number of wrong answers, 20. Your score could be like 280. Your score could be 260, 240, 220. You're going to be able to see all of those things in terms of, you know, saying yes or saying no or doing this or doing that. So basically, 300 points is perfect. That means it's very rare. Now, 275 to 299 is good. Let's just say it's above average, right? After that, 200 to 274 is fair. That means average. 100 to 199 is poor. And then, of course, anything below 100 is unsatisfactory. So, guys, you have everything. You have the quotient analysis ABC. Tally up all those points. Go through the thing. Go through the thing that's on the blog. And you're going to be able to see it all. So, guys, so grateful for you all. (sighs) We're going to top this podcast off on Friday with Awakening the Giant Within You. I'm going to break down all the chapters that we've been through. And I'm going to have my... Of course, my, uh, what is it, my content writer put up all those blogs and all the videos and stuff on one particular blog so you could go through that. And guys, with that being said, 
This is the end of the quotient analysis. Stay tuned for another little sneak peek podcast that's coming on later on tonight. We're going to talk about a couple of more things. Big things are happening this weekend. Nice little sneak peeks and surprises are coming for you guys. So stay tuned for that also. So with that being said, guys, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual. Over and out.